All right, what is going on, boys? Today, I'm doing the time attack challenge on Moon. So the point of this challenge is you can see the timer in the top left. I have 15 minutes to get and spend all my points. I can't buy anything. Oh, there he is. After that, 15 minutes is up. So basically, I have to, like, try to speed run the setup and get all of my stuff, pack a punch, get whatever box weapons I want and all that before the end of the timer. Today, I'm on Moon, obviously, which is one of my favorite BO1 maps. And if you can... Uh, I'm trying to die here. If you can't tell, I am still very sick. I am having a very hard time talking, and I'm an idiot, so this is my second time recording this, because I went to hack one of the excavators, and I didn't have Gersh devices, and instead of, like, hacking it and then running away like you should, I just stared at it. I got done hacking it, and I just kind of, like, zoned out, because you know, like, when you're sick, and you just can't think straight? I literally just, like, brain-numbingly stared at the excavator after hacking it, and I just stared. I was just, like, looking at it, and I'm like... Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I was like, wait, I gotta, like, hurry up and run, so. This is attempt two. I wanted to record two videos today. I'm still gonna try to record another one after this, even though I'm still pretty sick. So I was like, hopefully my voice can even handle recording one. And then I recorded, like, three quarters of one and have to redo it because I'm an idiot. So here we are on video number one, attempt two. So sorry that this video and probably next video is gonna sound, like, really raspy and nasally. Um, I have to do videos even though I hardly have the capacity to, because I haven't been to the gym in like four or five days because I've been sick. I haven't been to like my college classes in three days because, well, I mean, three school days because I've been sick. So yeah, sorry for that in advance. I'm sorry. It's just, it's going to sound bad the next couple days. But leave your round predictions in the comment section below. We consider this challenge successful if I get to round 25. Do you think I fail? Do you think I succeed? Also, as always, if you enjoy any of my videos, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing. I really appreciate support. And thank you all so much for your support. And for the daily question, what do you think the best remaster slash reimagine, I guess, because Togger Toten's not a remaster, it's a reimagine of Call of the Dead. What do you think the best one you've ever gotten in Zombies was? I mean, for me, BO1 Moon is one of my favorite BO1 maps. It's honestly, like, holds a really special place in my heart in general. But BO3 Moon is by far the best remaster we've ever gotten. So let me know yours. Uh, I think BO3 Knocked is pretty close. I just have to edit out my coughing after that sentence because I'm just going to sit here and edit out coughing. I'm going to be, like, commentating and playing so brainlessly because I just, I have that sick brain fog. It's, just, it's so bad. And then I'm going to have to edit out so much coughing and, oh my god, I had an orthodontist appointment tomorrow. Hello? I had an orthodontist appointment tomorrow. And, um, because I'm getting done with my Invisalign, like, it was supposed to be the end of my Invisalign. But I was like, I can't do an appointment. It's going to take, like, an hour, an hour and a half because they want to do, like, the bonded retainer to the back of my teeth. You know, like, put the wire on the bottom of the back of the bottom of my teeth. The bottom of the back of the bottom. It's going to be a long video, man. <laughs> it's going to be a long video. See, it's going to take, like, an hour, and I was like, I can't breathe. I can't stop coughing. So I'm going to cancel my appointment or it's like, reschedule. Yeah, uh, the next appointment is in five weeks. So I'm stuck with, like, the last tray of Invisalign, like, the last retainer. For like, and it's gonna be like six weeks now. So being sick is just so unfortunate because it makes everything so annoying. Like I haven't been to college in a while, I haven't been to the gym, commentating's a pain, rescheduled appointment and it's gonna be almost two months away. Like having fun, man, having fun out here. And before I went on a coughing fit, I had to edit out. You know, I was talking about the remaster stuff and like BO3 Knocked is one of those that like really benefited from it. I know that was the long ago point, honestly, but I just kind of remember because I went on a coughing fit and then talked about it. <laughs> but uh... BO3 Knocked really did need perks. Like, BO1 and World at War Knocked, like, your entire game can end in two hits, and I'm not a fan of that. Like, even if it just had Quick Revive, man. Also, my favorite Wonder Weapon is the Wave Gun. Someone asked me what my favorite Wonder Weapon was the other day, so the Wave Gun from this map, obviously. And they asked for my favorite Normal Weapon. My favorite Normal one's the MPL, you know, the weapon I'm holding now. Well, now. Because it looks good, it sounds cool, Iron Sight's great, Reload's cool. It's conveniently placed on every BO1 map. It's great for points. It's not even that weak either. It needs a little more ammo. But rather than that, the MPL is like that one friend you can always count on. So that's why it's my favorite, like, weapon that's not a wonder weapon. Because, you know, back in BO1, like, it still mattered about different weapons. Because, like, in BO3, it doesn't really matter. Like, the VMP and the CUDA don't really... They're not that different because Deadwire... But, you know, if you're not using AATs, I guess it does matter a bit. Like, I still love the CUDA. I love how the CUDA feels. It just feels better than the VMP, but... Because of double pack a bunch of abilities, it, it's not that big of a difference, you know. And that 0G... Wow. 
I know it's messed up because I have my FOV cranked up, which, or no, it's my frames, not FOV, it's frames. So that's why I did that, but that is tough. Like, look at this, I'm not even jumping. Wait, where's Hacker? Okay, I'll look for it in a second, I guess. So, if you didn't know this, because I've recorded other moon videos and people didn't know this, there's a Bowie knife up there that you can grab if you don't have power on. Because I remember the last moon video I did, there's like three or four comments that were like, I didn't know the Bowie knife was there. So yes, if you don't turn power on, you can jump up there by the Bowie knife. And where is this last zombie? These straggling zombies are seriously gonna mess everything up. Stragglers, you are killing so much time. I'm almost halfway out of time. Hey, thank you. Oh my, wait, wh where did you all come from? I hope the box is in a uh, biodome because then I can turn power on and I can hack the box. I, sh I should turn power on while I'm down there anyway. Even though excavators will start popping up, it's not a big deal. I do need power on. Dude, where are these zombies? Oh my god, please stop. I'm killing so much. Round five is an L right now. Okay, please be it. Thank you. Wow. All right, please tell me it's biodome so I can actually hack the box. Nice. Hacker's got to be up here, right? There it is. Um, Boom, boom. Get out of here so there's less Novas. All right, this is huge because I can get a lot more box hits for a lot less money, which I really need during this challenge. Also, I'm not going to go to No Man's Land and gather a bunch of points because that's kind of just cheating. Like, I was fine with it in the beginning of the game, but I'm not going to go right now and do it again because it's kind of just cheating. The only way I'll do it is if I'm there and I need, like, 200 points for Speed Cola, and it's like, all right, I'm just going to take 200 points, and that's you know not a big deal. But I'm not going to go gather 8,000 points right now. And it's just cheating, you know? It just feels cheating. Also, I'm not going to get Mustang and Sally as the other challenges because if I get Mustang and Sally, it kind of feels like, not cheating, but weird because then I'd be using Mustang and Sally on every map. It's like every game would feel the same. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Like a Python, preferably. Mobile, strong. That'd be great. Is that double? Oh, we got to end the round. End the round. Hold on. Actually, there's a lot of zombies. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. I don't want to use wonder weapons because it kind of feels like cheating during these challenges because it's supposed to be a challenge. So, I don't know. Python? Galil? Something like that? But, I mean, it is moon. So, like, since the wave gun's only on this map and it's one of my favorite, or it is my favorite wonder weapon, I might use it if I get it. I'll try not to. Like, I just hope I don't get it so I don't have to worry about it. But, like, if I'd have gotten the baby gun on Shang, I'd have used it just because it's, like, so unique to that map. So, it would have kind of, like wanted to use it dude where are these straggler zombies you guys are making life so bad five minutes all right well uh rip give me something decent do i just keep mpl for no reason oh ooh. cool we, we are fans of those though gersh's are nice dude honestly i might just keep mpl Huh. Well, I gotta be careful because I want to train in the spawn room, but this will burst windows out. Uh, okay, we, we're gonna go one more round of box hits. Hopefully, I can actually hack it this time. If I get wave gun and it's like the perfect high round setup, ooh, I kind of want those. Those are mobile, but we're gonna go for a full round of hits. Excuse me. Drag. Yeah, it. Whatever. <laughs> Ray gun dragon off the setup of kings. Yeah, but the problem is this is gonna burst out the. Uh, windows and spawn so i might train in like the stam tunnel like tunnel 11 and then run to spawn and hack then because i kind of want to use the ray gun but i need the hacker to hack excavators and then if i'm in spawn it's not going to work because i'll burst out windows so i need ps so and i'm actually about to go in here real quick for quicker spawns because like, i need to make sure i don't ray gun because it's going to hit the windows out wait should we can i do this real quick i don't have speed but never mind it's so slow without speed not gonna work. I want faster spawns because I want to hurry up and pack a punch, get speed and stam, hopefully. I don't know if I have time. And I can't get PhD because I want stam and I want speed. Especially, like, speed is huge on this map because if you didn't know, speed makes it so you hack well, anything faster, like doors, excavators, perks, anything. And then obviously, you know me and my stamina up and then jug quick revive, obviously. I mean, they're both definitely integral, especially even quick revive is definitely integral because if I go down, I can't spend points, which is why this is kind of hard because if I go down early, like, after the timer's up, it's just an L, because I can't rebuy perks. Some people said I should not run Quick Revive, but I run it in case I down right before my goal. Or I take a dumb early down. So, like, yeah, I could take a different perk slot, but also, if I down on 22 and lose all my perks, I kind of want to try to clutch it up, you know? I'm going to say I don't pack a punch Ray Gun. I think we go no Ray Gun pack, so I can pack Dragonov. And then Speed and Stam, hopefully. I have two minutes. I'm not allowed to earn points while I'm here. All right, Dragonov, get in there feels so weird this thing is definitely underrated though i remember i found that out during like a very early video on my channel like actually it was my first video that actually really oh not the first it was one of the first videos that really popped off actually it was a challenge that i made up 
Or at least... I didn't get inspiration from anybody. I like I kind of just I made it up, but I'm not gonna claim it as my own. On Kino a very long time ago. And I found out that the Dragon Off kinda underrated. Like this thing's no, you suck. Stupid death machine. It's honestly not bad. Like it's clunky and awkward, but it is strong. It is like one of the only weapons that like round 25 plus is still just very competent. How much time do I have? 50 seconds? Alright. I think I can get stam. Oh, I can definitely get stam. We're fine. Actually, there's two doors, and then I gotta have my stamina up. Are we fine? Hold on. Hold on. Are we fine? I keep forgetting that I turn aim assist off on BO1 so I can turn target assist off. Alright, we should be fine. I'm gonna let the timer finish up, though. So we get to hear the really dumb sound. Thank you, Excavator. That's exactly what I wanted right now. Thanks, man. Ooh, wait. Oh. Okay, I buy some Texas. I didn't get Claymores. I forgot. All right, we gotta listen to the dumb timer. Oh, wow. I only had 10 seconds left. Um, I gotta go get the stupid excavator, though. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. I gotta hear the dumb... Oh, God. The timer's gonna go off for a couple seconds. Oh, God. It's the Fisher Price xylophone. Hold on. I'm panicked. I got a Gersh. Gersh. Hack. We're good. Okay. While the Gersh is still... I'll be right back. Oh, God. I forgot. I lagged when I tab back in. I had to turn off the timer. Okay, remember, can't ray gun the spawn room. If you use use the ray gun in the spawn room, by the way, it's gonna burst out the windows you can't breathe in here, if you didn't know that. So that's why I'm very scared, and I'd actually like to get out of here. Also, by the way, if my commentary is, like, really all over the place and kind of just weird, I'm really having, like, that bad, you know, sick brain fog. And where is the power-up? Why do I hear power-up? Why was there a power down there? Whatever. Yeah, I'm having like that really... Just had to edit out another coughing thing. Really bad, like, brain... You know, like, when you're sick and you just can't think straight and everything is kind of just fuzzy? I'm, like, really feeling that right now. So if my commentary is just weird and off and just not normal, I am truly sorry, everybody. Um, I just refuse to take a few days off from YouTube because I'm devoted to the YouTube grind and I need to record because I didn't get to stream Sunday because I was sick. So I have to record. All right, well now I just did not have to mess the game up because I mean, I have a ray gun and Gersh's. So like, it's kind of on me to just not mess the game up. You know, I've actually been kind of getting like the itch to high round lately. Like, I don't know. It's just, I was a high rounder for so many years and I've switched to more casual YouTube stuff. So I've been getting the itch to do it. But if I did it and like started high rounding, I wouldn't have the time to get out the videos I'm getting out now. Like, I can't like, high round and do daily uploads and a few streams a week. Like, I could stream a high round, but also I still have to get videos out. So, I've really just enjoyed getting videos out every day and just focusing on growing the channel and keeping a consistent everyday upload thing. But I've been getting that itch and I have not felt like any sort of feeling to high round for a long time. Also, ever since becoming a Zombies YouTuber, my skill has gone down because <laughs> I spent so long, like, high rounding and all that, so once I started switching to casual stuff, I stopped taking the game super seriously, and I felt my skill kind of just diminish, and when I diminish, it's kind of just it's dormant. It could awaken at any moment. Just give me the right bottle of stamina. Now, that's a funny thought, but I've just thought about that, because I've, like, looked back at recent videos I've edited, like, the new town and the town around 50s. I've gotten around 50 on both of those maps before, and granted, I did only really give it, well, I gave town two attempts, but I gave new town one attempt on stream, and I had to read chat and all that, but it was like, back in the day, I could have got 50 easily, and I'm like, look at that, and I'm like, man, I've fallen off. But I don't know, I've just really enjoyed zombies a lot more also, just playing and not, well, I mean, you know, I play when I hang around, but just kind of like playing the game in a casual manner, instead of having to sit here for hours and hours and hours and hours doing the same strats and the same map, but I don't know. That's just kind of a thought I've had lately, it's kind of just, I've been playing a lot of BO1 lately, and BO2. I mean, I, especially BO1, like, I don't really have, there's not really a map on BO2 that I like high rounding, like, all the BO2 maps are either annoying to high round, or they're not awful to, okay, they're annoying because of their strategy, or they're annoying because of how slow they are, like, Mob of the Dead, strategy's not that fun, it's super slow, Origins, the ammo on that map is so annoying, like, con like not conserving, well, I mean, yeah, conserving ammo, but cycling ammo and power-ups, like, it's just, Origins is not a fun high round, man, I mean, in BO3, like, Every map is just dead wire and turned. And that's really it. Or dead wire wonder weapon, you know, just something like that. But BO1, like every time I hop on this game, I'm like, you know, I didn't high round BO1 too, too much back in the day. Like I did intermittently, but it wasn't like anywhere what I could do now probably because I was just like bad at the game. 
and coming back and actually playing it and seeing that I always had good map knowledge back when I played VO1. Like, I learned every map pretty well. But my mechanics have gotten so much better that I'm like, man, I kind of just want to, like, hire on VO1 sometime. Like, maybe on stream. Wow, round of hundreds in this game were too long. VO1 round of hundreds are, like, each 10 hours a piece once you learn how to efficiently do everything. Like, they can be shorter, but a lot of them are, like, 8 to 11 hours. Like, 8 once you really learn how to do it. And the first couple, like... I think Moon would take, like, 9 to 10 hours. Like, it's just... BU1 high rounds are so slow. I don't know. Like, maybe... Try to get, like, round 75. Because... The way that rounds work in Zombies... Is that... Round 80 is actually the halfway point. Like, you know, round 50 is not the halfway point. Because each round gets so much longer. If you're gonna do a round 100... Usually you get, like, 32,000 kills. And it's kind of different with dog rounds and all that. But round 80 is, like, the halfway point on kills. Maybe I could do, like round 75s on stream like that could be fun because then it'd still be a good long game i don't know i just ah dragging off i forgot that when you ads it just holds you in place i just kind of gotten like that little bit of an itch back you know to actually like seriously play the game yet again that itch might diminish i don't know also i know a lot of people have talked in comments and in my streams about how they've been watching me just like playing they've been enjoying like not challenges going on but the challenge is just surviving. And I've had fun playing like that on Town and Nuketown. So maybe? I don't know. You guys think that's a fun idea? If I were to do like round 75s on BO1 and BO2. That way I don't have to push it all the way to 100. Because then I'd have to get videos out. And also I'd have to grind a lot to like get that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Because part of me wants to kind of just go for like round 75 on Moon. Oh my god. That's such a... Oh, thank you for that. I didn't like how they grouped out of that door. I was scared. I don't know, let me know. That's just kind of an idea in my head. I was actually about to hack this into a max ammo. And then I realized that that would be spending points. I kind of forgot that that was spending points. I like threw a Gersh like, oh yeah, I'm going to hack this new max ammo. And then I was like, wait, it costs 5k to do that. Never mind. Uh, dude, I actually, that could have been bad if I'd have done that. Oh, excavator. Cool. Thanks game. Now it's going to suck. So I want to get back over that tunnel because I don't want to... Uh, dude, I don't want to be in here because ray gun scary because window. Maybe, maybe I just stay in here this round, Gersh and Dragonov. Dude, I love the Gersh. It sounds so cool. Gersh is my favorite equipment. It just sounds so awesome. It looks so cool. Like, look at that. Like, black hole. Like, it's so nice, dude. Look at the Dragonov, by the way. Dragonov kind of crazy. Uh, oh, God. I've never seen like that name, Admiral Athena. Usually... Oh, dude, I wish I'd have saved the recording from last time. You want to know what one of the uh, cosmonauts' name was? It was actually the first one that spawned in. I was, like, trying to run out of the spawn room, and it was, like, the anti-gravity drug me right next to it. Like, I jumped right next to it by accident. It was Pony Girl 66 like, P-O-N-Y Girl 66 And I was like, now, what is that name, dude? Like, are you kidding me? Usually you get stupid stuff like that, or, dra or not dragging off. <laughs> Treyarch devs. But no, I had... Pony Girl 66 up in this game. As long as I don't royally mess this up, I should have completed this, by the way. You know, I really hope that nothing goes wrong again because I just did a big brainless last game and that's why I'm here again. Oh, wait, I only have one Gersh. I was about to just throw it because why not? Is that a death machine? I mean, what are my chances of dying now if I grab that? I'll take it. Whatever. BO1 Death Machine sounds so much better than the BO3 Death Machine, but by golly, is it way worse. Luckily, it's a low enough round, so actually, BO1 Death Machine is not bad in early rounds if you hit him in the head. If you hit him in the body, not even worth it. Why didn't the BO2 have a Death Machine? Why didn't BO3 have one and BO1 had one, but why did BO2 not ever have one? I mean, okay, it did on Mob of the Dead in the box. I mean, I guess it did. Hey, Admiral Athena. Bye, Admiral Athena. Oh, well, I was hoping that would kill. Oh, I was... Bye, Admiral Athena. Hey! Oh, stupid Admiral Athena's messing up my game now. You know, I think BO3 Moon, like I said, is the best remaster we've ever gotten. But aesthetic-wise, I really enjoy BO1 Moon more because it actually has a better space theme. Like, Ascension is the same way. BO1 Ascension looks a lot more like a space area and, like, space theme than BO3 Ascension. And I think Moon's the same way, not even gonna lie. I think BO1 Moon, just off setting and theme... So much better. I don't know, how do you guys feel about that? Like, Chronicles maps look better, as in more 
aesthetically pleasing. Like Kino, especially. Like, think about Kino, like the spawn room. But, oh, wait, I didn't see that. But, off an actual atmosphere sense, I think Chronicles just. It doesn't feel right. Like, they just don't have the same gross and, like, boring, weird feel that BO1 maps had. But I think that's kind of like what makes BO1 nostalgic and just kind of a better feeling game. Like,. Not as in, like, feel, obviously. I just mean, like, atmosphere. Like, how it makes you feel in the game. Yeah, like, look at the ground. Oh, stupid. Three excavators, and all three of them are tunnel 11? Weird. Yeah, like, the ground, like, how it's white. Like, okay, Ascension Spawn Room is big with it, too. Like, think about how white the Ascension Spawn Room is and how you get to space theme. And then, like, BO3. I mean, how you describe the BO3 Ascension setting and mood setting. Like, it's just the way that it looks. Okay, cool. As, why are you... Stop hitting me. Zombies, you're not allowed to hit it from the back, like I told you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh please let me down. Let me out of here. Oh, I don't like this. I usually like having the wave gun, so I'm a lot more comfortable in kind of like a snap decision moment. I mean, luckily, the ray gun's still really good. Like, I mean, look at this thing. It's not that bad. Especially for a challenge, like usually I don't keep wonder weapons, but I don't. The ray gun's just like not enough of like a needle pusher to like it. Like, it sounds so weird calling it a needle pusher. Like it doesn't push the needle to where it feels like a weird, not challenging challenge anymore. Like the wave gun would make it feel like that, but the ray gun, eh, not really. Let me out of here. Oh god, this is gonna be a weird gap. Oh, I actually thought I was making that. No, we're not failing, dude. Can I just have something go right? Like, two rounds. Okay, two rounds. What? I heard Cosmonaut. Um, hey, Pink Unicorn, what is up, my brother? Get out of here. Two rounds. God, dude. I just, I really thought I was making that gap. Like, there was no part of me that was like, I'm dying here. I legit, like, wholeheartedly was like, yep. I can make this. No, we're not failing right at the end with a freaking ray gun, dude. I ref no, 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 no. I refuse. This is not how this ends. I, I gotta get 25 at least because I'm so tired of failing every challenge by a few rounds. Get insta or nuke. Oh, don't die for that, but you gotta get to that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, who's, who's, ro uh, not robot. Zelensky. Oh, what is up, Jimmy freaking Zelensky. Oh, wait, aren't you guys nuked? Why aren't you guys nuked? No, Zelensky, you... F I hate everything that's ever existed. I really do. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on the video subscribing. I'd really appreciate support. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.